Today I'll be going through how you can set a Guinness World Record title. Watch on to find out more. Hey, how's it going? You're watching Iron Will, your place to find tips, tricks and experience in triathlon, multi-sport and endurance events and training. Have you ever wanted to set a Guinness World Record? Well, it might be easier than you think. Back in 2017, I was doing a whole bunch of running for charity. And as I was looking through my emails, I saw an email from the Blackmore Sydney Running Festival saying that they were gonna have a Guinness World Record representative at the course certifying marathon world record attempts. And I thought this would be a great opportunity to help try and promote the charity that I was running on behalf of at the time. So in 2017, unfortunately, my Kung Fu Sifu passed away from mantle cell lymphoma. So I was running for charity that year on behalf of Australian Cancer Research Foundation. I ultimately settled on running in a Kung Fu uniform. So I set the Guinness World Record title for fastest marathon runner in a Kung Fu uniform in memory to my Kung Fu Sifu. But unfortunately, earlier this year, someone has broken my record only by eight minutes. So I'm gonna have to run faster than they've run. So I'll have to run faster than 342 for a marathon. Now obviously that should be fairly easy to do with a good amount of training. The hard part is you've got to run in Kung Fu slippers and also in a full Kung Fu uniform. It's a little bit tougher running when you're completely covered. So this year I set myself a goal again of achieving a faster time and this time I'm running on behalf of the Run Beyond Project. They're a group that helps students in need by providing them running shoes, entries into races, that sort of thing, giving them great goals to achieve. I'll leave a link to information about this charity in the description box below. The process of actually applying for the Guinness World Record title is surprisingly easy. First of all, you need to have an entry into the race that you're entering. Next, you'll need to sign up for the Guinness World Records website. So you go onto their website and create a profile. On this site, you can then do a search for different things that you could potentially set. So you can put in any sort of search term and then at the end of it put marathon and it will come up with a whole bunch of ideas of costumes that you can run in for the marathon. And that's one of the easiest ways to set a Guinness World Record is to find a race that has a Guinness World Record representative and find a costume that you can run in, that you can set an achievable time in. Once you've found a costume that you think you can run and set the Guinness World Record title time in, you just need to click apply for this record. It'll then take you through to a page where you enter all your details. And once you've done that, you're in. Make sure in the description section to include what your entry number was. Make sure that it's a race that has someone that is a Guinness World Record representative at it. Not every race can be used to set Guinness World Records and make sure you put in the correct date. So the date that the marathon will actually be run on. If you have an idea for a Guinness World Record title that doesn't exist yet on their system, then you can apply to set it yourself. So you can create your own new record and they'll go back and forth in conversation with you to set it up. Once you've made your application, you'll need to wait a little bit they need to have time to just check to make sure that everything is all okay. And then when they do get back to you, they will ask for evidence of the costume. They wanna make sure that the costume you're wearing is appropriate. You need to prove that the costume meets all of the requirements set out for that Guinness World Record title. So some costumes will have restrictions, other costumes won't. In the Kung Fu uniform, I need to wear Kung Fu slippers. I also need to wear a full Kung Fu uniform itself, including a full Kung Fu jacket, which needs to go down all the way to the wrist. And of course, it needs to be in the traditional style. Back in 2017, there were a couple of other entrants for the Guinness World Record title. There was one person running in a suit, so he had to wear a three-piece suit, including jacket, vest, shirt, tie, pants. But Luckily for him, he was actually allowed to wear regular running shoes. Another thing with setting the Guinness World Record title is it does have to be somewhat uh, general. So you can't go fastest marathon run in a SpongeBob SquarePants costume. That would actually be fastest marathon run in a cartoon character by a female. So have a look around the website, see if there's something which you think is achievable and that you can set. If at any point during the application process you're unsure of what's happening, you can make contact with the race organizer and they can provide contact with whatever agency is representing Guinness World Records in your country. 
in Australia, that is the Red Agency. So once your costume is all approved, then you just have to get yourself to race day. So, what you need to make sure that you're doing is practicing running in that costume or in something similar. Because you may be able to run a sub four hour marathon, but can you do it while carrying a bike? For me, the next 13 weeks is gonna be a lot of running in Kung Fu slippers or other minimalist type shoes, and a lot of running in clothing which completely covers my arms. So I'll be wearing jackets all the time, pants all the time while running. Luckily, it's winter here in Australia, so that's not too bad. It actually makes it a little easier to get out the door, but it does make it a little harder once I've warmed up. Eventually, you'll get to the race day itself. Now, when you get there, you'll meet up with the Guinness World Records representative, and there may be some television opportunities, or photographs, or radio, this, that, and the other. You will get a little bit of publicity from this. Then once all is done, they'll wish you best of luck, and hopefully they'll see you at the finish line in the time that you've specified. And then it's all up to you. You need to make sure that you achieve your time that you've specified for that run. Unfortunately, whatever the day is, is whatever the day is. So if it's raining, you just gotta go with it. I really hope it's not gonna rain on the Black Boars Marathon. Then when you reach the finish line, you find the Guinness World Records representative. They'll be pretty obvious. They're wearing a Guinness World Records suit and they will present you with an award. It's not an award that you can take home immediately. That's just a general award that they present to everyone at that finish line who has completed the Guinness World Record title. But after the race, you will get sent a personalized award. So your award will say what your name is, what the costume was that you ran in, and the time that you ran it in. And while it's not that much, it is great bragging rights and something awesome to hang on your wall. Now if you do find a race where there is a Guinness World Records representative, all you'll probably need to pay is the entry fee for the race. If you're doing a marathon that doesn't have a Guinness World Records representative at it, you'll need to make sure that there is appropriate amount of coverage of you running the marathon. They need to have proof that you did actually run the entire marathon in that costume. And also, you will probably have to pay for the certification service. At least when there's a representative at the race and they're trying to promote it, with one such as the London Marathon or the Blackmore Sydney Marathon, they try and promote it and have it free. So if there's a race that you can join that already has the certification in it, I definitely recommend it. So, why not get out there and set yourself a goal of setting Guinness World Record title? To check out my video I did about running for charity, I'll leave a link up here. If you want triathlon content every week from here in Australia, then hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.